WMIC, or the Windows Management Instrumentation Console, can be used to do a variety of very complex tasks easily at the command line. WMIC process call create will create an instance of a new process. So in this example, WMIC process call create calc launches calculator on the machine. Now I'm going to launch several instances of calculator because the first thing I want to show you is two different ways that we can use WMIC to kill processes. Now in order to kill processes, we first have to find them. WMIC is very flexible in the way that you can list different uh, attributes and processes uh, and it has a query language that is uh, SQL like. So I can say something like WMIC process where uh, name equals calc and it will find the, all processes that have a name equal to calc.exe. Then I can type list or list brief or list full to get a list of different sets of attributes about those calculator processes. Now, after I've listed my processes and I see that I have the processes that I want to uh, get rid of, I can then change the last word to call terminate. So the, the action that I'm going to take on this process is to call the terminate process. But there's other ways other than doing the call terminate, terminate uh, to kill processes, you can also just use the delete verb. So let's create a couple instances of calc and let me find them in a slightly different way. So instead of saying the name is equal to calc, I'm going to say WMIC process where the name is like calc anything, C A L C anything. The wildcard verb or the wildcard uh, character on WMIC is the percent sign. So WMIC process where name is like calc percent finds everything with a percent sign. And then we just change the last, uh, the action to take to be delete, and we've deleted those processes. Now, besides running processes, we can also query and monitor on, uh, running processes. Uh, first, let's look at all of the attributes are that are available on a running command process. So, WMIC process, where the name is like command, anything, list, uh, we'll list brief, and we get this set of attributes. If I want to see everything that's available, I can type list full. And these are all of the attributes that are available to me to query. So let's pick a couple of these that we think might be interesting and then monitor those. So uh, we'll use the get verb in order to monitor a specific attribute. So I will monitor the handle, the name, and um, let's, let's just monitor the thread count as um, a third option. So get handle, name, thread, and if I just press enter here, that will query these objects and give me back um, their status. But if I want to monitor them ongoing, I can put a slash every colon and then the number of seconds. And WMIC will query that attribute over and over again, that number of seconds. So you can use this to monitor things like incoming connections to your system, uh, monitor for changes on your system, and uh, keep an eye on what's going on. Check the CPU utilization those kind of things. You can also do this with list brief. You don't have to specify the attributes. So the forward slash every can be added to the end of uh, just about every command you can run, including creating processes and other crazy things. So WMIC, very powerful. Uh, it's It can be used to query, change, or delete attributes off of your system.